He's definitely a QR favorite, and he's my f my personal favorite as well. And no horse deserves a Group One more than he did, and he showed it this year. Um, so he deserves his his he deserves his retirement in Stuttgart, and I'm pretty sure he'll be a very good stallion as well. He's uh, he's by fantastic sire of sires and broodmare sire pivotal, out of a stakes winning two year old Royal Academy mare. Um, he won his only start in very impressive fashion at two and three, and and. Turned to be turned into a champion, old Amala. Lightning Spear has an unbelievable turn of foot, and thankfully we were able to see that at Goodwood over the past few years. He won dual celebration miles, and he was unbelievable in the Sussex Stakes, beating an, a very high-class field and expert eye in Gustav Klimt, and beat the bank, etc. So, look, he's a bi pivotal out of a Royal Academy mare. He's from a very, very good Newcels Park family, and. Um, and to survive five years training and look the way he does and move the way he does, he's something to really behold. And, and I'd encourage people to, to have a look at him. Funny enough, he's probably the best looking yearling I ever bought. It cost 260,000, which you know, was, a, was a lot of money for a pivotal cult. You know, he was worth every penny of it. His temperament was wonderful, um, first and foremost. He's a very, very sound horse. But at the end of the day, he was, he was talented. Um, he had pace, he could accelerate. and and all the necessary requirements for, for a proper Group 1 horse. That trademark acceleration is what we look for in, in stallions. So he's pretty much the entire package and, and uh, 8,500 is ridiculous value for money. He, he's the nicest horse to be around as well. I've ridden him in myself and he's, he's, he's a chilled character. He's unbelievable.